Little stands in the way of 130 mile per hour tennis serve. Its pinpoint accuracy and lethal velocity prove threatening for the man on the other side of the net. However, one extra factor comes into play when creating the perfect tennis serve, and that's spin. Spin plays a huge role in tennis, as it could alter the path of a ball during flight. And the way spin affects a ball's path is called the Magnus Effect. Before we dive too deep into the effect, let's talk about the law causing it, Bernoulli's Law of Fluid Dynamics. Bernoulli's Law states that the velocity of a fluid or gas and its pressure are inversely related. Simply put, the faster a fluid or gas goes, the lower its pressure will be. Wait, that doesn't make sense. I feel less push with the slower stream, but more push with the faster stream, which means the faster stream must have higher pressure, right? Well, no actually. For example, when I blow air with a hair dryer between two tennis balls, what direction do you think the balls will go in? Outward or inward? Well, the results are probably not what you expected. The two balls are actually pushed inward. Because the pressure and velocity of fluids and gases are inversely related, the faster moving air in between the balls would have a low pressure, while the still air outside of the balls would have a relatively high pressure. The high pressure pushes the balls inwards, which is why they move accordingly. So, what does this have to do with the Magnus effect? Well, Bernoulli's law is actually responsible for it. As air hits a ball, it splits on each side of the ball. Due to the ball's spin, the air on one side will be dragged along the ball and accelerated, while the air on the other side would slow against the rotation of the ball. Because of Bernoulli's law, the faster moving air would create lower pressure, while the slower moving air would create higher pressure. The higher air pressure pushes the ball, causing the curve of the Magnus effect. Now, it's time to see what this effect can do on the tennis court. If I hit a ball from point A to point B without spin, it would follow a very linear path, such as one shown. However, because I put spin on the ball, the ball starts at point A, curves around the line, but is pushed back onto point B because of the force the Magnus effect is exerting on it. This serve is more unpredictable compared to the serves without spin. The Magnus effect shows how the simple rotation of a ball could drastically change its course. So next time you see a tennis match, you'll know what makes a ball curve so much. That's the Magnus effect.